Hey, what's happening, guys? Okay, so I just wrote up a little thing earlier about tempo, um, and now you can use it for fat loss. So what we need to remember is that there is no such thing as fat loss training specifically, or really. So fat loss training is basically a side effect, or losing fat is a side effect of building muscle, or working anaerobically or aerobically, so that's the working engine systems. And fat loss tends to come alongside those. So if you're training to build muscle, you're gonna lose fat. If you're training aerobically, so that's long distance running, you're gonna lose fat. If you're training anaerobically, so things as to bad up, you're gonna lose fat. As long as your calories are under control, your protein is high, and your daily activity is on point as well. So if somebody says to you they got a specific fat loss program for you, just tell them to fuck off because they are chatting shit. It's a side effect of working energy systems or building muscle. Okay, tempo. So tempo is one of the things you can use in your arsenal to aid fat loss. And by that, what I mean is controlling the rep, and controlling the weight that you are using. So, you have two ways of pulling and pushing the weight. You have the concentric phase, which is the pushing motion or the pulling motion. But we want to work on the opposite end. So we want to work the eccentric phase. So for a row, on the eccentric phase, you're a lot stronger. So you can control the weight a lot better. So that's where we can keep that time under tension. So that's basically keeping the muscles working for longer to help them rip basically and then rebuild and then get some more muscle, lose some fat. So on a row, so we're gonna contract, concentric movement is pulling through, but you wanna work the eccentric phase, it's where all the, all the good stuff happens. So on the way down, it's a basic four, three, two, one, contract, eccentric phase, four, three, two, one. Okay, if you just try yourselves, you, you'll be able to understand that the pulling is a lot harder than the down phase. With a push in motion, it's the, it's the opposite, so you want to concentrate on a fast drive in the air and then a steady eccentric phase. It's four, three, two, one. Again, contract, four, three, two, one. And that's how you can use tempo to aid fat loss. Hope that makes sense.